so I made these spacers quickly so that I could in the future if I need to place a 20 millimeter wedge in this hole Notice that the machine doesn't have much much power. I have ordered the pressure gauge and when I install that then I can see if uh, everything is uh, operating at the correct pressure. <laughs> Is it under? Let's clean up. The machine is so well balanced. Um, when I have the uh, sled all the way here, is in balance. Is this too harsh of an angle or is this totally doable? I hope it's not too steep. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go go ahead with this design. some information about uh, valve and to pump and I'm gonna hook up a pressure gauge 
to see uh, what's what's happening with the oil pressure. I connected the pressure gauge on the pump side of the valve. So have to release the pressure before. Could tip include some dirt in your hydraulics so that the filter has something to do That did a huge difference. So I think the hydraulic problem is figured out. Now this wedge pops, pops the logs. So I'm not sure. I think I will buy another one of these and make maybe maybe I'll make this one. Uh, the cross section one but I still want to have one that's just a blade now I have to figure out how high this should be I decided that I'm going to be mounting them this way.
Well, I didn't expect the outcome to be so good, but now I'm really happy with the machine. So for the oil leak from the tank, I'm going to be installing a long pipe. 